What's good everybody? I'm the One-Legged Raven. Today I'm talking to you about uh, heat problems and uh, staying cool and hydrated in, in severe temperatures and circumstances. I live in a trailer in San Antonio, so I have leaks and cracks in the walls and the air conditioning leaks out, leading to a high electric bill. <clears throat> the AC is almost running non-stop uh, around this time, even at night. Nighttime gets down to about 73. And that's still decently warm if there's no wind and it's very uh, humid outside. So what I do is when it gets really, really hot, I'll go outside with my water hose and spray down the side and the roof of the trailer. And this brings down the temperature a few degrees. It actually is worth the, the, the extra effort. So if you, if you have a, a house that the, the roof is baked by the sun, doesn't have any trees hanging over it or... You have a side wall. My trailer faces north to south, so I get continuous sun coverage from sun up to sundown. Uh, <clears throat> about 10 o'clock, it starts hitting the house, and by about 8 o'clock, it's finally behind the neighbor's trailer. So the sun sets uh, behind the neighbor's trailer and gives my uh, my walls and my house a break. But um, um, that's just a good way of keeping your <clears throat> keeping your house a little cooler. Just spray it down once or twice a day to make sure you stay out of the you stay out of the sun and you're not um, you're not exposing yourself to extreme temperatures for too long. I have prior heat uh, heat related injury and illness, uh, so I am I have very limited shelf life in the sun. I can stay outside for maybe five minutes in direct sunlight before I start getting dizzy and. No matter how much water I've got in me, my body cannot keep up. So I drink about a gallon of water a day on a good day, um, maybe more, and twice that if I'm out in the sun for any particular reason, even if I'm covered. Long sleeve, uh, wide brim hat, the whole nine yards, a bandana, whatever I need to keep cool. Uh, um, tips for your, uh, for your vehicle. If you're gonna get into your vehicle and it's been sitting out in the sun, go open the passenger door first and then open your driver's door and <clears throat> uh, count to 10. The ambient, the ambient breeze or movement will pull all the hot air out of your, out of your car and uh, make it a moderate temperature compared to the oven that it is sitting there. Yeah, just like when you're baking something in your oven, every time, every, I think it's every second you leave your, your oven open, it's 10 degrees lost in internal temperature. So same principle applies for the car. Uh, I have a big uh, Chevy pickup. So when I can, I roll down the windows because I park along a wall. I can't open my door, um, but I'll open my driver's side door and uh, uh, turn, the, uh, turn the key on. And then I can, I can roll my windows down and uh, uh, cool off the truck that way um, Also touching on what my friend Tex uh, Texas Vagabond on YouTube said um, With putting rags on yourself cool wet rags um, That can cause shock and and put you in a worse situation if you're overheating in the Sun um, um, What you want to do is if you are stroking out or having heat exhaustion you want to drink um, lukewarm water or uh, uh, cool water, not cold, because you're gonna shock your system. Uh, you wanna drink uh, small sips, because you're introducing water into your body that's been leaking it out, uh, and you're probably not sweating anymore. That's why you're in this bad situation. You wanna introduce small amounts of cool water or lukewarm room temperature water, um, not refrigerated, and um, Pour small amounts of uh, cold water onto your wrists because your 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 blood will carry the cool uh, of the water to the rest of your body and slowly and safely cool your body down uh, and also your organs who are starved of water at the moment. So, <clears throat> um, just small small tips and tricks that I've learned to to keep cool in the summertime. Uh, and yeah, uh, shade is, shade is, uh, all right, TV show. Uh, shade is more important than damn near anything, second to water. Um, but yeah, once you experience heat exhaustion, you need to sit down, 
you need to drink small amounts continuously. Like you want to get a lot of water on board, but you want to do it a little bit at a time, one mouthful at a time. Take a drink, wait 30 seconds to a minute, take another drink, and uh, rest for 30 minutes before you attempt to move and get to uh, a cooler area. Um, the bad thing about heat exhaustion and heat stroke uh, is your body heats up super quickly, but you have to cool down slowly. And it's, it's a suffering game. You have to, you know, you have to cool your body down in stages. You know, you can't just jump in a pool of cold water because you're dead. <clears throat> so resist the urge to jump in the river or the lake or, or chug that, that gallon of ice cold water in the, in the cooler. It's not going to do you any good. You want to make sure that you are are systematically and progressively cooling your body down safely, so you don't have an adverse reaction. Um, um, other tips for uh, keeping your house cool: close all the doors inside your house, bedroom doors, bathroom doors. Um, block off your hallway with a room divider or a sheet or <clears throat> whatever, whatever barriers you can create from room to room do that that makes it easier for the air conditioner to cool each room and uh, if you have uh, fans or things on in other rooms uh, with no occupants go ahead and turn them off but go ahead and turn off the lights close the door and that'll cool that room down more make it easier for the rest of the house to get to get cooled off so um this isn't necessarily prepper knowledge or survivalism or anything. It's more of creature comforts and how not to die in Texas because uh, we've got one hell of a sun upstairs and uh, it doesn't like us. So give it the middle finger by staying hydrated and not dying. Okay. Thanks a lot for watching. We'll see you in the next one.